everybody, I'm Ryan Moss. I'm the Northeast Ohio Stream Quality Marine Coordinator for the Division of Natural Areas and Preserves. And today we're out on Leslie Run, which is a tributary to the North Fork of Little Beaver Creek State Wild and Scenic River, and we're looking for what's known as a crane fly larva. A little bit about the crane fly larva is they're in the order Diptera, which is the true fly order. And they're in the family Tapulidae, which is there's thousands of species of crane flies in the family Tapulidae, but what we're focusing on is the aquatic larva. Uh, the crane fly goes through a complete metamorphosis, which means it goes from egg to larva to pupa to an adult. The adult crane flies actually appear like giant mosquitoes. They're very common. You'll see them in your houses. You'll see them around lights at night. Um, they're completely harmless. They're not mosquitoes. They cannot bite you. They do not have working mouth pieces or mouth parts. So their pure purpose is just to reproduce, lay eggs, and then they die usually within a few days. Uh, for habitat, when you're looking for the crane fly larva, is you want habitat like this where you have a stream with heavy canopy cover. The reason you want heavy canopy cover is because the crane flies actually eat leaf pack or detritus that's in the stream. So the more canopy cover you have, the more leaves that fall in the stream, the more food for the crane fly. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're actually going to go out and we're going to try to find a crane fly. So here is the crane fly larva. One of the features that you're going to look for when identifying the crane fly larva is they are grub-like. And as you can see, this is actually the back end of the crane fly. He has these little tubercles and almost appear like a hand or a star shape. And that's what they use to hold themselves in the bottom of the riffles and under rocks. This is actually his head end here. Uh, it could be anywhere from clear to green to brown in color. This is about normal size before they emerge as an adult. Uh, and actually, if you look really close, you can see they're translucent. You can actually in see inside of them and see that digestive tract inside. Um, one of the ways you can identify these over some of the other macroinvertebrates that may look like them is that as far as a snipe fly larva, which is another common larva that we find in our streams is that the snipe fly has a pointed head end and on the back end has two tails. The deer fly and horse fly, which are also very similar to this, have two rounded ends almost like this head end here, but on both ends they don't have these tubercles. And they're also significantly smaller than the crane fly that we have here. Thanks for watching the video. If you'd like to learn more about stream quality monitoring opportunities or anything about macroinvertebrates, you can contact your local stream quality monitoring coordinator or visit us on ohiodnr.com and look up Scenic Rivers Program.